Hello and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play World of Tanks. And I jumped from the British last time and now I'm starting up with the Chinese again with the Chi Ha. This thing actually is unique to the Chinese tree. It is not a replica or lend-lease or variation of an existing tank. This one actually is unique to the Chinese tree. So it's going to be fun exploring this little thing as I work my way up this one this episode here. And uh, yeah, I was told after uh, talking to a few clan mates that this thing is a rather interestingly frustrating quote unquote tank if it's not played very cautiously because it uh, if it gets the wrong matchmaking it could be pretty uh, I don't know tedious and not fun and it just apparently has a little bit of trouble here and there so the fact that I'm in a tier 3 match with tier 2's certainly does at least make it a little bit easier to swallow and uh, make do with being no oh my god there's nothing over there being not upgraded all right let's let's readjust here because we've got nothing watching our flank oh look it's a Penza 3a let's let's miss him once more yup there we go come on he stopped there we go that wasn't bad but again I'm shooting his back end so I need to be careful and I need to shoot the stuff over here because we got some stuff heading to our base and yeah you kinda don't kinda don't want that because that's bad <laughs> we have no one over there so I need to turn around and head back to base oh come on it, we're about even but this thing being completely stuck at the moment is uh, not exactly the most responsive, quick to return to base, anything like that. Oh, look, I already, uh, the, the guy got cleared. Alright, well, I don't want to be the dude who sits here and waits, but I'm at least going to go over me. Uh, no, nuts. Nuts, 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 nuts. Alright, let's wind in and hit him. There we go. Oh, at least I'm bouncing some good shots there. But I can finish this guy off with a little bit of luck here. One more shot should do it. Nope, don't need to. Alright, I need to worry about this BT because he is hitting me pretty good. But this thing actually does have pretty good damage. I'm able to really hit them and I'm not taking much in the way of a... Uh... Yeah, now I am. Time to run. That Panzer 38 was hitting me pretty tough. Okay, let's regroup here. Think about this one. Okay, let's get back here a little bit more. Really uh, take our time here. Hope that our teammates down in the south are able to really do some damage. Because I am pretty much stuck. I don't want to uh, pull too much risk here. If I can finish off this BT, that'd be fantastic. But he's not exposing himself. And this Panzer is also playing it cautious and safe. Come on, be a little risky. Aw oh man, don't just hit him, kill him. If you're just hitting him for no damage, I can't do anything. Oh, nuts, we're losing stuff left and right. This is not going to go so well. Come on, buddy. Someone pop up. Someone be daring. Alright, he's actually behind over there behind the rock. So let us wait and see if he makes a mistake. Come on. Someone poke up. I don't want to go. I only have 80 hit points. Why do you have to be so difficult? Let's just... Ooh. Come on. Yeah! One more. Oh, come on. I like rocking how many shots with zero damage now. Okay, there's the BT. I don't know if he knows that I'm still here. Oh man, it's just me and one other person. And he's one short of a top gun. Alright, well I gotta play this one stupid cautious, sadly. How dumb is this? That, uh, man, it's just me and SU. No, SU, turn around and watch the other way. I got this covered. Alright, now we got to deal with the 38. Oh, come on, don't shoot low. Shoot him. Uh, two more. Oh, I'm gonna get killed. Yup. Oh, man, we were outnumbered. And that guy got a top gun off me. 
Man, BT7 is a good tank. So we will let this one finish out and then, yeah, good job by that VT. Man, he rocked it. I couldn't get a kill, but I did a ton of damage. I had to damage, yeah, quite a few people. All right, so let's go ahead and upgrade. Ooh, I don't even think I'm getting upgrades. Let's mess around and get into another one, shall we? All right, so I have grinded a little bit here. I had the upgraded tracks, gun, and turret. So this... 50, no, the 57 is not good on this tank. The 47 millimeter gun, which I have equipped now, is quite a big upgrade from the 45 millimeter. And of course, I just wasn't a fan of the 57. Taking a look at it, the stats on that thing were basically it was the 57 was 30 pin and 70 damage, so really high damage rate, but very low pin. Basically, yeah, that it would be rough to do anything. I mean, of course. If you exclusively got tier 3 and below matchmaking, that'd be pretty decent. But when you're going against tier 4s and 5s like I'm doing now with the 4s, not so much. So, I grounded a little bit, was able to afford the 47mm, and as you saw there, it's about a 80, or 80 penetration rate and 40, no not 40, 70 damage. So, pretty significant upgrade there. And, uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Kill my gunner right away. Oh yeah, there's artillery gotta work out. Oh, it's not gonna go well. Come on, fix the track already. Alright, alright, we need to move. I don't wanna get hit by the artillery or that Lee. Oh, come on, go, 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 go. Yeah, okay. So, anyway, where was I? Getting shot. Yes, that's exactly where I was, but it's not where I'm at now. Okay, that Lee's dead. I can push up a little bit. Man, I hate being the advancing tank. I'm always the first to die because of my stupidity. Oh, overshot. Oh, he's looking right at me. Haha, you missed. I didn't. So, yeah, the uh, 47 here, fantastic upgrade in comparison to what I did have when I had the, uh, what is that thing? The 45mm. Much higher damage, much better penetration, uh, relatively the same um, rate of fire. Not too much of a difference that is worth... Uh, Noting, I think it's like one round, one or two rounds less per minute. It's very minuscule. So I'm going to try and get around behind. You know, there's no point in getting around behind now. There's only charge, charge for the win. Ooh, good hit. Come on, buddy. Nope. Of course, that guy got killed by something. I got killed by the artillery. And I'm dodging the artillery. Yeah. Run away. Be afraid of my Tiger 3 tank. Okay. So where was I? This thing actually has two engine upgrades beyond what I'm running now. So I'm thinking that once I get those engine upgrades, it won't be that bad of a tank. I actually was able to get um, second class with my last victory, or the only victory I got in this tank so far, and that was by killing one thing and damaging like three others. So I can imagine it's not a highly um, rated tank just based on that. It's just It doesn't seem like it's a standout awesome do well tank it seems like it is uh it doesn't have a sort of niche to fill it's just like any sort of main battle tank that's uh low tier and tier three is kind of that point when you're starting to get pit against the big dogs and so it's uh interesting to see me have to fight and do well against some tanks that normally in the tier twos and everything i didn't have to deal with oh man he got right in that little nook of course oh of course Alright, there's an M37 over here. He's not looking at me. Range in. One of our tracks is damaged. Oh, the Valentine's aiming at me though, so I need to get into some cover because I don't know where he's at. And I didn't like that hit. Man, I I notice I don't fire on the move. I always aim in. That's why I have such good accuracy is because I'm super cautious like that, which is uh, both good and bad. So, I mean, I get myself into more trouble than sometimes I should. Ooh, I'm probably going to bounce off this guy a lot, aren't I? If I could actually hit him, that'd be the, uh... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to hit him. I don't even know if he's still there. I don't believe so. Alright, T28. Nope, he's still over here. Alright, let's take a shot and then back up. Ooh! Oh, come on! <laughs> Land on the target already! Silly, silly tank and it's non-firing straightness. Come on. 
I like how all my shots there have been wild. He's like facing the side. There we go. All right, let's get on the cap here. See what we can do. Maybe hit this guy while I'm on the run. Nope. Or we'll reload and try again. Nope. <laughs> Come on, you silly thing. It would be fantastic as if our artillery shot him. Because I don't want to get hit by him. Because he'll probably kill me. So, yeah, you go do that. Stuart, you're an M5. Stuart, you can get him. Go get him. Oh, God, he's looking at me. Kill him! Please! Okay, now he's not looking at me. Sweet. Okay. So, there we go. I was able to uh, get him to look at me while the artillery nailed him. Good job. So, there we go. Not a bad little victory. Didn't do too, too much. But, you know, a little bit doesn't hurt. So, now I'll go upgrade the engine. And, uh, yeah, once I get the final engine, I'll record that one, too. Alright, so I finally upgraded this thing to the max here. Whoa, type 2597, she Okay, I never read that till now, but anyway. So finally fully upgraded this thing to the max, except the radio, which is, uh, yeah, somewhat important in the low tiers, but not worth it if you don't have to. So, this is probably, uh, the last little bit I have to deal with this, is just grind up to the M5A1 Stuart, which is actually more historic than the American Stuart, believe it or not. But, I'll get to that whenever I unlock and start playing that one. In the meantime, though, I've learned that this thing is very much a support tank. It really isn't a frontline tank, even though it does have some decent armor and ability to bounce some stuff. I've been able to bounce quite a few shots. It is not necessarily a um, run and gun and be the main battle tank sort of thing. It's no, uh, I don't know what, what even options there are out there that could be compared to. But, as I'm going to creep around try and take on this tank, which is a dumb idea. I mean, it's not like I'm a, you know, just a heavy fighter or anything. It's not like I can do the crazy amounts of damage and everything else that is almost required. Oh, did he just fire? Enemy yep. Oh, well, track him. Focus on the 1-6 here. Oh, man, I'm getting hit hard by something. Okay, let's let's regroup for a second. Oh, hello. <laughs> he just poked out, said hi. Alright, so there we go. A little bit of teamwork there. What was able to hit me all the way up here? Is there any artillery? No. So anyway, where was I? Yeah, this thing's not exactly a main battle tank. This is a very much just a support tank. Go with the group. Don't really want to go off on my own and kind of like I'm doing now, I'm very reluctant to do too much because I know that uh, I can easily get taken out or singled out individually. It's not like I have that great of a uh, chance of doing too, too much. Wow, they have all these people on cap already? That's, uh, that's actually impressive. I can't see a soul on there. So, I don't know what I want to do here. I guess I'm going to have to try and rush to support them at some point in time here. Uh, let's try and take out this tank first. Alright, yeah, I can actually penetrate. But the nice thing about this tank is it is very good at damage and penetration once you finally upgrade it. And the key thing there is, of course, upgrading the thing, getting that final gun. Because beforehand, it's just mediocre. Alright, now I gotta get down there and stop him from getting that cap. So I'm gonna have to cross over here in the center and then poke down. Just start taking people off cap best I can. It's probably our real only hope. Alright, I gotta repair the gunner. Not the gunner, the driver. He's not gonna be of much help if he's dead and I need to hurry. And that's exactly what it's coming down to. So I need to get over here and shoot some stuff. How do I not see anybody? Yeah, there we go. Chiha. Alright, he's dead. But there's still people on it. Where are they and where are they going to die? There we go. 18, who's just now getting on it. We'll take care of him. Enemy and then we'll move on to the Covenator. And voila. He's dead. Last tank. And then I will have rocked their face off on the cap. Alright, there we go. Reset the cap. One more time. And one more shot to tell them to back off. There we go. Alright, much better. 
Man, they were sitting on that cap, and that was a little rough. Oh, another target in the open, except this time it's a medium tank. Range in there. Fire! Yeah, one more. Oh, nuts. <laughs> there goes my ability. Well, no, I can still get Top Gun, but it doesn't matter that much. All in all, though, this thing's a great tank as a support tank, and when you're working together with people, definitely not on its own. If you're able to get the flanks like I'm doing right now, it's a pretty fantastic tank, and I absolutely love it. Man, I should overshot him something fierce. And there's that 35 over there. The, the gun is a little bit unwieldy at range. It seems like at medium range it does pretty well. But at that long range, I, as you can see there, is kind of iffy if I'm going to hit. It's not like some of the higher tiers where definitely my accuracy is very good. I'd imagine that the low tier accuracy... I'll actually go look it up real quick before I sign out of here. Uh, not bad. So it looks like I'm going to be... Sticking through this thing a little bit longer. Not, I don't think I have enough experience to get it done just yet. And what was my damage was 600. So yeah, not bad. What is the accuracy? Accuracy at range is 44. If it's under 3, you can imagine it's pretty accurate. At above 3, it's... Uh, oh, also it's at 100 meters and I was shooting long there. But not too, too bad. So at least the Stuart will be rocking this when I'm ready. And yeah, I'll be playing this thing a little bit longer. I'll get the M5 Stuart, and then I'll move on to that tank. So next time, I'll focus on a little bit of the Tier 3 British. And until then, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you in the next episode.